Hey guys, Jeremy here from the Hockey Movement. Welcome to the second week of Will It Sauce, where we take an object that we know can fly and we find out, will it sauce? In this week's video, we're testing out the zip chip. This is not your ordinary flying object. You hold it like you skip a stone, you grip it, and you zip it. You gotta take the packaging off, of course. Here we go. You take it like this and you launch it. They can fly, but will they sauce? In this video, I'm using the Verbero Cypress again. It's a beauty twig. Check it out, verbero.com. Let me go get those zip chips and we'll see if they sauce. My prediction, I think that these things are gonna fly. They're not as big as a puck. I think they're a two inch diameter and a puck is three. And they're not as tall either, but they got this nice squishy material. I think that's really gonna grip to the stick and let me really launch these things. They just look like they're gonna go really far. Let's find out. All right, so the criteria for successful sauce, I wanna see these things fly like a saucer. Not too much wobble, and I wanna get at least 20 feet from them. Bonus points if I can stick them right into the sauce kit, but we're gonna try that a little bit later on. For now, let's just see if these things can fly. Just gonna do a little chip shot, see how that works. Oh, yeah! Love it! This is a pretty decent sauce for the first attempt. Let's see if we can go a little bit farther. Oh, <laughs> I'm loving it. These things can soar. I'm gonna try to clear the track. Hopefully nobody's coming. Oh. Decent, decent. Tap number two. All right, let's do some long bomb. Try to clear the track into the long grass. <laughs> You're gonna have trouble finding the All right, next attempt, I'm going downfield, full wrist shot, see how far I can actually launch these things, but the wind won't be at my back, it's gonna be coming across, so it might curve a little, let's find out. Let's see if we get the sauce back. Oh, there you go, look at that. Hey, right on the shooting pad. Oh, perfect. Long bomb sauce confirmed, but how's the accuracy? Can I hit the sauce kit? Let's find out. so close man oh man we came pretty close but i gotta wrap this up this is a challenge for another day i'll get you sauce kit so were they sauce i go ahead and give that about an eight beer and chipotle barbecue sauces out of potential 10. what i really like about these is the flight they really hover i love that especially when you get them really floating up nice and high what I'm not too keen on is the size. If they could get these about the same size as a hockey puck, you get that control and that feel like you would get with the hockey puck. What's nice though, is that it's pretty much the same technique you use to do a nice sweet sauce with a hockey puck, you do it with a zip chip. If you guys wanna pick these up, I'll put a link in the video description. I recommend getting at least three of these for maximum fun. If you only have one, you gotta run and get it every time. So grab three, they're not too expensive, and I think they'll be pretty fun over the summertime. And I wanna see your sauces, so get the zip chips, sauce them around, and see if you can hit that long bomb sauce that I couldn't hit with the sauce kit. Uh, also, I want to know what you guys want me to try to sauce because in the fourth video in this series, I'm taking your suggestions and trying to sauce them. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We do new hockey videos every single week. We'll see you in the next video.